Welcome to the tutorial on how to analyze a plan in ArcGIS Urban. To begin, you will choose your own copy of the Western Avenue plan, created in the previous lesson. It's important to learn about the challenges and qualities of a site before and after your design proposal, and Urban can support you with a dynamic and measured design process from the start. In the Development tab, you will see that Urban calculates the gross area of the spaces throughout your active scenario. This is shown either in square feet or square meters depending on your profile settings. Each of the colors that are shown on the 3D buildings correspond to a space use type in the panel on the right. These space use types represent functional activities that occur in the building. In this example, you can see retail on the ground floor in red and multifamily residential shown in yellow above. Under multifamily residential, click more details. Space uses can be easily configured to reflect your own local assumptions. For example, this multifamily residential space has a net area factor of 80% applied. This means that 80% of the total area is designated as usable space, which will then be used to calculate downstream metrics. Each parameter on a space use can be customized. This customization is important because it's the basis from which you quantify your plan. We will cover how to create your own custom metrics in a later tutorial. Close the Space Use panel and click on the Dashboard tab at the top. This dashboard shows the metrics that already exist for this plan. By clicking on a metric, you can visualize the parts of your scenario that are directly related. For example, here you see the space use that is responsible for residential units. As you draw new space use or allocate building types to your plan, the parameters are working their magic in the background and updating these metrics. The entire dashboard can also be easily downloaded to Excel and integrated into your existing evaluation workflows that may exist. You can also simulate the impact of your plan on the surrounding environment with interactive 3D spatial analysis tools. These can be found by clicking on the analysis icon. Then choose Shadow Cast Analysis. Shadow analysis can visualize and measure accumulated shadow for areas in shadow for more than a specified time, or you can visualize shadow for the total duration. You can also interact with your mouse to see specific times within the plan itself. When you are finished, click Done. In this tutorial, you have learned the basics of analyzing a plan both quantitatively with metrics, as well as spatially with interactive analysis tools. Try some of the other analysis tools, such as the Slice tool or Line of Sight. Follow along with the next tutorial, and get started with your own free trial of ArcGIS Urban today.